What's up, YouTube? Handlebar Mike here uh, with a tobacco impression review, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> this is the second time I'm doing this, so hopefully this one works. <laughs> I uh, uh, Earlier today, I posted up a close-up picture of some Samuel Gowitz Sam, uh, Sam's Flake on my Instagram. And uh, Unicorn Piper, uh, Ben, asked me uh, if I would do a video uh, at first impressions or impressions. I won't say first impression. I've had like four bowls of it so far, three, four bowls, something like that. So it's not necessarily first impressions of it. But uh, Ben has an unopened tin. And I guess uh, he just wanted my thoughts on it. So I'll show you what the tin looks like. I didn't bring any of the flakes out with me. Um, I have them in a jar, but that's the tin that I got. That's what it looks like right there. Um, it's a really pretty flake, uh, as with most of Samuel Gowett's flakes. Uh, really nice. Uh, very, very moist out of the tin. So there's definitely drying time involved. Um, I actually took the, the picture uh, this morning when I put them out to dry and, and now it's the afternoon, it's about, I don't know, two o'clock, three o'clock here. Uh, and I'm actually getting around to smoking it now. You do have to wait some time for it to dry out. Um, and, uh, then I rub it out and I stuff it in this beautiful 1930s, uh, K Woody. I, I love that shank logo. It's one of my favorite things about this pipe. Uh, it is, uh, a 5113 if you care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, this blend is a uh, Virginia, it's mature Virginia's and uh, Turkish tobacco that is steam pressed, so it is darker. It is heat processed while it is being pressed, then sliced, and uh, then they put a topping of, I believe it is Tonquin bean uh, flavoring on top of it. Now, um, it is a very mild topping. Uh, I'm not even sure what the hell Tonquin bean tastes like, but uh, uh, it's not very... Um, forward in this tobacco. It is a mild to medium, I'd say more medium than mild. Smoke. Uh, the Virginias are there. You get some hay. Uh, you get more of that fermented hay though, uh, because it is heat processed instead of that bright hay, that, that fresh cut hay that you get in uh, like golden slice and stuff like that. The Turkish is there, kind of woodsy, maybe a little peppery. And then occasionally I do get like this little floral note, especially when you retrohale or snork uh, the smoke out, you'll get maybe a little floral deal going on. I don't know if that's the Tonquin bean or not, but like I said, if it is, it is not heavily cased at all. It's very, very lightly applied. And it's a good, uh, good tobacco. Um, I like the, the best brown flake better uh, as far as Sam flakes go so far. Uh, I would definitely buy more of this. Uh, I probably wouldn't go out of my way to get another tin of it, but if I see it at a local shop or something like that, I'd definitely grab it. The flakes came out of this tin um, already having uh, sugar crystal sparkles all over it. Uh, when the light hit it, it was beautiful looking. <laughs> uh, little slabs of uh, tobacco. It's a good smoke. It is. I could see people smoking this. Uh, I don't know if it would say all day, but uh, definitely a good portion of the day. Uh, maybe in the morning, into the afternoon, maybe get into something a little heavier uh, towards the night. But overall, it's a good flake. It's a good tobacco. I enjoy it a lot uh, so far. Um, my, that opinion might change as I get through the tin, who knows, uh, but it is a nice flake. It does burn down beautifully if you do give it enough uh, drying time. It lights and it burns uh, really, really well as uh, uh, as well, and um, I have been enjoying it. So so there's my impressions, Ben. Uh, hopefully that, uh, that'll help you make a decision if you want to open that tin or not. I think it's definitely worth it. I think it, it'll just get better with time, though, if you want to sit on it, too. Perfectly fine, either way. <laughs> All right, with that, guys, don't forget, uh, pack a bowl, light it up, burn it down, relax, enjoy. I'll see you guys online next time.